Welcome back, everyone, to another snapshot. This snapshot is little, but I've missed the last snapshot, so we have some other stuff to go through. Just, we're going to go through what's important and what you guys want to see. I'm not going to go through everything. Everything is not important. Like I said, we'll figure out everything when the actually 1.17 actually comes out. So, let's just get into this right now. We have a lot to go through. Uh, again, I'm just going to show what's important, and it has to do with ores. So, the Deep Slate ores and the original ores, it's going to work for uh, both of them. That's why I have both of them set right here. If we go into survival, I learned about this uh, little thing right here, by the way, <laughs> not too long ago. So, I'm going to start using it. Anyways, so we're going to go into survival. Should have grabbed a different pickaxe, but here you go. That's for the other one. There is a change in a lot of things. So, the ore, when you mine it, you think you're going to get the ore block, but you don't. And even the deep slate one, too. You get raw iron. And that is the same with gold and copper. These three ores, you get the raw variant of these ores. Get raw gold and raw iron. And you can put them... You can put them in the furnace, like so. And when they smelt, you can go ahead and be able to grab these. So, Silk Touch has more of a, a, a purpose now for iron. Because now if you want the iron ores, you are going to need snil uh, Snilk, Silk Touch. Just like you uh, would need it for Diamond, Redstone, Lapis. All the ores that drop this stuff. You would need sil a silk touch to get the ore block of the ores. And then you can also go ahead and grab the ore block. So if you have diamond uh, or if you have um, iron ore, gold ore inside your world, it'll still smelt the same as it like. So if I show you here, if I go into creative mode, grab some iron ore, put it in here. It's still going to smelt it into iron ore as if it, you would do with diamond if you silk touched diamond simple as that it's obviously going to do do that almost like if you again silk touch diamond redstone it has a really good use actually it really does it has a really good use so this is actually really something that's going to be really cool uh through this update if you guys go ahead and grab fortune 3 and not the chest because the chest is just in there because i put it in there so if you grab fortune 3 on your pickaxe if you grab that check it out do not know if it works for copper. It does work for copper. That was eight out of four. Grab iron. Got 14 out of all that. Gold. And out of these, I got seven gold. That makes fortune a lot better. A lot better. It gives it more of a use. It gives it so much more of a use. And you go ahead and put it inside the furnace and smelt them. And it gives you the regular gold ingots like it normally does. Simple, 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 simple stuff. But it's really nice. It gives fortune and silk touch. Maybe more of a of a use. So now you, you got to go get silk touch if you want to get iron block ore and stuff like that. Got to get silk touch if you want the uh, the ore blocks. There is some other stuff too. And we're gonna. Um, I'm gonna show you what's uh, again. What is mostly important? This right here is something that I wanted to show you guys. This actually, this I have like a list. <laughs> I have like a list book going on here. This right here is spawns naturally inside your world now. Uh, dripstone will randomly just spawn rarely in a cave. This was the for the last snapshot. This was 20w13a, but we're on 14a. 14a is the raw variant of the ores. Don't think it matters, but here we go. This does spawn now in your cave rarely. You will be able to find them. Obviously, if you touch these things, they'll fall on you. But this cave looks awesome. It looks amazing. It looks so... Oh, man. Caves are becoming an actual... They're, it's like the best thing. It, this has been a long time coming. Minecraft's been out forever, and the cave system's never been touched since the longest time. The longest time. I think the last time the cave systems have been touched was uh, 
the uh, other blocks called andesite, dorite, and granite. Granite, maybe I don't know, but yeah, deep slate are uh, the dripstones. They do spawn rarely around your world, as you can tell. I can't see, I can't find them. I did find those through spectator mode, but it may take a little while for you guys to find them. But other than that, you will you will possibly find them. This right here is a goat, and I think you guys have seen them. But now they spawn. I've said but a lot in this video. They spawn in the mountains, and they jump very high. Do not know if that's a, a, a joke, but I don't imagine. See, look at they're spawning here. They're really nice. Look at that. Nice, 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 nice addition to the game as well. That's awesome. Uh, these are the things. They're another milk. Uh, mil they're another milk source. So if I grab a bucket. I can go ahead and grab milk. Um, it'd be pretty cool if it was called a bucket of goat's milk, but that would be too long of a name and stuff like that. So yeah, another milk source. Uh, they they aren't hostile. As you can tell, they jump really, 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 really high. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, so they can jump over your fence if you try to box them in. So be careful with that. Uh, you might want to box them in somewhere else. Uh, but because yeah they jump really high i'm not sure if there's going to be a uh problem with that and also they do follow wheat like a normal uh, um like a normal animal like they follow carrot they follow wheat cows follow wheat just like a normal animal so that's how you can herd them in but as i said they do jump really high and they can jump over your fence i had them boxed in the fence in the last video that i made but i decided to remake this video because of the new snapshot that came out yesterday which this video is obviously coming out on Thursday, but it's really nice, really, really nice addition, and it's really, look at that, look at that, they're really nice, really nice, and I don't know if they're going to be pets, but we'll figure that one out, and obviously, you can breed them with wheat as well, you breed them with the thing that you can lead them in with, obviously, tame, I don't know if you can tame a goat, but yeah, this is where you would find them, you find them in the mountains, and I'm just kind of Kind of, I'm seeing, I'm seeing what they're going to do with mountains more. I want to see what they're going to do with mountains more. But I know the cave system's obviously going to be worked on more because obviously they got to do some, a lot of stuff to the caves if you think about it. That has been the snapshot. There is a lot that has changed the ores and the raw variants. Really nice, really nice touch because it gets fortune, that nice little touch with with what it is. So I will be making probably a let's play live stream when the update comes out. Got some time to go through. So thank you everybody so much for watching this snapshot and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.